Hey everyone, welcome back to the second episode of my Memory Dex card series. If you didn't catch the first episode, I basically just created a box for all my Memory Dex slash Rolodex cards to fit in. So if you didn't check that out, I'll go ahead and link it down below. You guys, it was super easy and it was a lot of fun and I really like how it turned out. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and link down below. So I have taken on the crazy challenge <laughs> crazy to me anyway, of just using this Hocus Pocus collection kit. So if you didn't see the flip through of this, I have it in my Halloween party. I'll go ahead and link that down below as well. And I'm using the Echo Park collection Hocus Pocus. And it just comes with two pattern papers of each design and a sticker sheet. That is it. There is nothing else. I think there's actually a stamp set and a stencil, but like, what am I going to do with that? So I actually have the stencil, but I'm not going to use it on this project. So I thought to myself, I'm going to challenge myself. I want to use up some things that I have because I have a lot of Halloween papers. I want to use up this kit and get it out of the way so I can say that I used it. And let me tell you, this was hard. <laughs> Um, I'm used to buying a whole collection and, you know, using ephemera paper, like ephemera packs and uh, stickers and, I don't know, chipboard stickers and journaling cards and I'm just used to using all that stuff. So this was not easy for me, but like I said, it was a challenge, so bring it on. <laughs> so I just basically um, have a strategy. I'm just basically layering papers and, you know, just using the stickers and some gems. I actually got those gems up in the top left-hand corner of your screen. I got those from my friend Danny. She's Pop Fist Paper on YouTube. And if you love Halloween videos and Halloween projects, definitely go check out her Creepy Crafty Days. I'll go ahead and link her channel down below so you guys can go and check her out. So I'm using these stickers and I'm using my Scotch foam adhesive to pop up the stickers to give them some kind of dimension and then I'm just adding little gems and that's basically it. I did fussy cut some of the ghosts that you see in the, well as you did see in the top right corner of the screen. I did fussy cut some of those but I'm not that great at fussy cutting so I did my best. <laughs> um, so yeah, so basically you're just watching a process of me putting together the cards and hopefully making it through this video. Uh, I don't know what it's going to look like <laughs> towards the end. I have about 22 cards to do, so I hope that the stickers and the paper can last. <laughs> because, yeah, I like I said, I, I didn't um, plan on doing this, but it's a challenge. And like I said, bring it on. So... I'm just going to go ahead and chat with you guys about my little trip to Disneyland last year because this is basically just you watching me do the same thing over and over again. <laughs> um, and I already kind of explained what I did. So let's see. Oh, this is a selfie of my husband and I. I had those ears made custom from the mermaid harp oh my gosh you guys she makes the cutest halloween ears if you're going this year and you want some pretty halloween ears even though they have the most cutest halloween ears this year i've already i've already seen i follow a lot of instagram uh disneyland people <laughs> on uh on my instagram so yeah, they have a ton of cute ears. My favorite that I want so, so bad that I've seen this year are the Minnie Mouse candy corn ears because I love candy corn and they're so cute. And I've seen um, the Haunted Mansion ones and they're just so adorable. So yeah, I have had um, custom ears made for me from the Mermaid Harp and I'll link them down below in case you guys want to pick yourself up some because they're super cute. So this is the castle at night. They had like a projection screen thing on it and it was really cool um I love the castle at night I've never seen it really at night until this last trip and oh, it's so pretty I love that I got to see it at night so they keep the park open later 
And like I said, I've never uh, seen it at night. And so to go at night and see, you know, um, there's certain things that I did want to see, like uh, Snow White's Wishing Well, uh, where they have the fountain and all the dwarves and stuff for lit up um, to the right of the castle, I believe. I've never seen that before. So it was really cool to kind of see things. Uh, everything looks so pretty at night. It's a small world. It's all lit up. Oh, it's just so cute. So here, I'm so glad I took this picture, you guys. So I think the only ride we got on was Pirates of the Caribbean because it is my favorite ride. Well, one of my favorite rides. And I took a, thank goodness, I took a picture of the redhead because, see, I don't know if you guys are Disney nerds like me, but I don't know if, if you guys know this, <laughs> but they took the redhead out of, out of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, and they replaced her with a redhead, but she's more, excuse my language, she's more badass, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'm all for that, you know, uh, I just... I like I, I like old you know vintage I like for people to like keep it the same you know leave it alone but I do like the redhead now she's actually really cool and I think they have a character of her walking around the front of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride so that is like my goal next time is to meet her so I'm glad I took that picture because yeah uh, she's not there anymore. And then I finally got to meet Jack Sparrow. Oh my gosh, you guys. I finally got to meet him. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. I just... I, you don't understand the lengths that I, that I had to go to to, to meet this, this guy, okay? <laughs> um, I chased him all over Tom Sawyer Island. Yeah, I took the freaking raft all the way to the Tom Sawyer Island. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's that's a that's a story for my documenting Disney because ugh, I kill my husband sometimes. <laughs> but I finally got to after like what, like 45 minutes in line, I finally got to meet him. And I love, oh my gosh, I love when they break character. Uh, quick story about uh, this little Jack Sparrow encounter. So I got up to meet him. The kids got up to meet him. You know, that he was talking to the kids. And the kids were just in awe of him. Like, I was like, I, I, well, I wanted a picture with him so bad. And he came up and started talking to me. And I didn't understand a friggin' word he said. <laughs> I didn't understand a word he said. And I said, what did you say? <laughs> and he kind of laughed. I love <laughs> <laughs> they break character. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. So yeah, that was that was uh, my little Jack Sparrow encounter. I loved this part of the parade. So they had like a little pre parade, and I love Ichabod Crane. That is like my one of my favorite Disney cartoons ever. So, <laughs> I love the music, I love the little story, I just, I love it so much. So, when I got to see the Headless Horseman up close, I just about, like, friggin' died. <laughs> um, also, I believe last year was the first year that they had Ichabod, Ichabod Crane. And I actually follow the guy on Instagram who plays him. Um, his name is Chris Villain, and deep down, I kind of knew, I'm like, oh my god, it's Chris, <laughs> but yeah, oh my gosh, he was so good, he was so good, the way he walked, and it was just like Ichabod, and it was the coolest, so totally loved it, loved it, so I'm just now getting into the part where I'm going to start documenting the parade, which the parade was awesome, like it was so cool. Also, I got to see, which I don't know if they had in, in years prior to last year. I don't believe so, but they had Ursula. And so that was kind of cool to see her. Um, she was so fabulous. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you should, oh, my gosh. Her in character, she's just, you know, like, she's just so glamorous. Like, she does not care. It was so cute. Uh, she took the best pictures. So you're not going to see that till next the next episode, but 
I did take some good pictures of her. So my kids loved Mickey. They were just a little tired, you know. It was the end of the night. They wanted to go to back to their room and go to bed. And we were out kind of late. So what are you going to do? Uh, but I would love to go again for Halloween. So who knows? Hopefully soon. But yeah, so here I am adding some gems, adding the cards to my little box and this is what it looks like I actually kind of love it I actually like how the ghosts are peeking out the sides so super adorable there's my selfie with Jack the fireworks so cute so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed and you like to be just go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys next time love you guys bye